Hi, I'm Shaquille Varmel from the Summit Group. I'm looking forward to seeing many of you at SANA's Pan-European Conference in Paris this coming March. At that conference, I'll be conducting a pre-session on the Sunday, which is called Moving to Strategic Account Management, from Competency Definition to Delivery. Now, what's that going to be about? I wanted to share a few thoughts here with you. As we've worked with our clients around the world, particularly those that have recently implemented a strategic account management program or a key account management program, what they found is they struggle with some key questions. First of all, how are they going to organize the account team? Second, which customers are they going to put into the program for management? Third, how do they define their right talent from a SAM to put into the program and manage these key strategic accounts? And finally, how do they continue to develop not only the SAM, but the team that supports the SAM on an ongoing basis to make sure that they're continuing to deliver customer value? So what we're going to share with you is a number of insights that we've gained. First of all, the anchor for it all is this recognition that you have to reverse engineer your relevance. Of course, the key point of creating a strategic account management program is to be strategically driven by your key most important lighthouse customers. Oftentimes what we find is that when it comes to identifying the talent that's going to manage those customers, companies identify internal looking metrics like past territory success or chemistry or fit with the team or the individual uh, manager that's leading, leading the team. So what we want to share with you is some insights that are all customer driven. And we're going to look at competency from three perspectives. First of all is the mindset. What's the right mindset for a strategic account manager? Second of all, we'll be looking at the skill set. What are the right skill dimensions, tactical skill dimensions, that the most successful strategic, strategic account managers have? And finally, we'll look at the experience set. What is the range of experiences both on the job and otherwise that a successful strategic account manager has. So once we've shared these competencies, the next key question is, of course, how do you find individuals that have the perfect balance of all these skills, mindset, and experience? We're going to talk about some non-traditional recruiting and selection methods, those that will help you identify this unique skill set. Now, for many of you who've actually had a SAM program in place for a while, what's key is to understand, you know, against these competencies that you've developed, how are you going to continue to develop not only the SAM, but the entire account team? We're going to share some insights on how a pragmatic, blended approach to development can be useful to continue to make sure that your SAMs add value. And finally, we're going to share some thoughts that will help you assess your SAMs. Are they successful? We're going to go much more beyond the typical metrics of revenue growth, particularly in the short term, and we're going to provide some perspectives on how to have a more holistic approach on the effectiveness of your strategic account managers. And I hope you join me on March 13th in Paris. I look forward to seeing many of you at that session.